David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at a fountain pen from the German manufacturer, Diplomat. Uh, and that pen is the Diplomat Arrow. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go over some of the parts and the features of the Arrow, talk about some of the things I, I care for and some of the things I don't care for, show some measurements, some size comparisons, and then provide a writing sample. Uh, then you wanna stay tuned because I have a Diplomat Arrow to give away, courtesy of uh, Points of Distinction, the exclusive US importer of Diplomat fountain pens. Um, I had purchased an Arrow a while back, and uh, when I let them know I was gonna be featuring it in an upcoming review, they were uh, kind enough to send me one along in order to, uh, to give away, uh, as well as provide a, a very nice discount code for purchases made on their site. So stay tuned, and I'll let you know how you can uh, enter the giveaway, as well as uh, I'll provide you with the discount code. So Diplomat, as I said, is a German company who've been producing uh, a number of writing instruments of varying types since 1922. And I believe the Aero line is their most recent launch. And the Aero comes in a number of different uh, styles. It actually comes in a ballpoint, a mechanical pencil, a roller ball, and what we will be looking at today, a fountain pen. It comes in this box and you open it up and inside is actually a pretty cool box it has a, a metal sleeve on here that you just slip off and then inside we have the pen first of all let's take a look at the stuff that's underneath here um, it actually comes with two uh, s uh, international short cartridges and then a diplomat uh, uh, service guide warranty and that um, you know I, I know that uh, this book is actually eight 108 pages long so now it's a few languages but that's a, a pretty large manual 108 pages there um, and that this pen here is the matte black version of the Diplomat Arrow. Um, it also comes in a matte brown as well as a matte silver. Um, and that actually this is what the silver looks like. This is what the silver looks like. We'll look at it a little bit more later, but that is the, uh, the silver and then this is the black. Um, the pen is made of anodized aluminum and is inspired by German Zeppelin airships. You can really see how that has a, uh, a similar shape to a, uh, a Zeppelin airship uh, of the early 1900s, and it really does resemble that. Um, I'll start with the finial. Uh, at the top of the cap, uh, it's rounded and has the Diplomat logo, which resembles uh, a flower. And on the, uh, the black and brown finishes, the logo is white, and on the silver version, as you see here, the logo is black. Uh, you know, I really like this clip. Um, it's really long and, and a low profile, uh, and it's a bit longer than most clips. Um, and it has a, a decent amount of spring to it as well. Um, the cap actually tapers up and then is virtually flush with the barrel, which tapers back down to a, a rather pointed rounded end. Um, and that um, as you can see here, one of the distinguishing features of this pen is that the, uh, the cap as well as the barrel have long groove-like depressions uh, that actually help serve to reduce the overall weight of this metal pen while maintaining its size. Um, and the, the matte finish and these grooves gives the arrow um, a very distinctive feel in your hand. It, it's one of those pens that you can instantly uh, recognize just by touch alone. Um, there is no traditional cap band. There's just a section of the cap made uh, without the, uh, the, the grooves. And on this flat part uh, on the cap, it says Diplomat. And then in a smaller font on the other side, it says Made in Germany. Um, the cap snaps off to reveal this very nice number six steel nib. Um, the nib doesn't have a breather hole on it. And it says uh, Diplomat since 1922 and then M for medium. Uh, this pen comes in, uh, in fine, medium, broad, and actually for an additional $100, uh, it's available in a 14 karat gold nib as well. And here's a close up look at the plastic feet. Um, the section has a little flare here at the end and then tapers up to an angled step up to the barrel. And while this transition is rather steep, um, the slight angle helps it to not be sharp at all. 
Um, this section is on the small side of medium, but um, I really like the matte texture that's on this section. It really helps the, uh, the metal section uh, to be not slippery at all. Uh, the cap does post securely, and, and while posted, the arrow does have a decent balance. Uh, you know, I don't find that the cap backweights this pen at all, uh, and it's just very comfortable in the hand. Uh, I, I have a tendency to use this one posted. Uh, the Arrow is a, uh, a cartridge converter pen uh, that it does come with a cartridge uh, or a converter. And as I mentioned, they also include uh, two uh, short cartridges with the pen as well, as, as well as this branded Diplomat converter. But the pen doesn't require any proprietary converters or cartridges. It just takes standard international. Um, I showed it here before, but here is the silver model. Um, this is just a really sharp looking pen. Um, I do find that the the finish on the section of the uh, of the silver version isn't quite as matte as the one on the black version and so uh, for me uh, it's just a little slip a little more slippery. It's not super slippery but just a little more than the uh, than, than the black version but it just feels slightly different. Um, you know I have to admit that when I ordered this pen I, I really wasn't expecting that much. Um, you know, I thought it had a, a very interesting look. I really hadn't read any reviews on it. I hadn't talked to anyone else that owned it, and, and had never really tried to, or never tried a Diplomat pen previously. But I just thought it might be worth checking out. And and man, I was surprised. The the nib on this pen is fantastic, uh, and that's really not. Uh, it's pretty much an understatement because it, it really is. Fabulous. It's one of the best steel nibs in my collection, and it really is amazing and a joy to write with. You know, um, you know, it was a very pleasant uh, surprise to find that that this pen was as good as it really was, and that you know I'm really enjoying it a great deal. You know, it's a unique pen made out of quality materials that performs outstanding. And so, what else can you really ask for? in a pen. But that moment when you first started writing with it and you you realize that yes, this is a good pen and it's much better than I anticipated is a pretty cool feeling and uh, uh, one that I, uh, I hope everyone has at least at some point in time. Um, if you would care to purchase one of these pens for yourself, um, they're available in a few places, but if you go to the Points of Distinction website, which is mydiplomatpen.com, um, the arrow sells for $195. And as I mentioned, you can get a 14 karat gold nib for an additional $100. But honestly, this steel nib is good enough that I really don't think that you need to pay the additional money for the, the gold nib. But if you use the code uh, FIGBOOT, 816. I'll go over it in the right sample again. But if you use that on their site for the month of August 2016, you'll receive 20% off your order. Uh, and that I believe that's a site-wide discount, not necessarily just for the Arrow. So uh, check out the other Diplomat pens that they have for sale. And if you like something else, use the code and get 20% off of that. Um, if you would like to win this silver version of the Arrow, uh, just leave a comment on YouTube. Today is Friday, August 5th, and sometime after midnight Eastern on Wednesday, August 10th, I'll randomly select a commenter to win this pen. Um, as far as a, a topic for the comment, how about uh, uh, letting me know about a pen that, that surprised you, one that turned out better than you anticipated. Uh, you don't need to leave a comment on this topic in order to win the pen. Uh, it's just a suggestion, just other than having to write just some random generic comment. So this is the Diplomat Arrow and that now it's time for some measurements, some size comparisons, and then I'll provide a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the uh, Diplomat Arrow. Uh, here it is with a Twisby Diamond 580 AL, uh, and then here it is with a Lamy all-star and then here it is with a uh, pilot metropolitan so you can see that it's um, almost the same size as the all-star um, but uh, the all-star is a little bit thicker on the ends and then in regard to some other pens uh, here it is with a, uh, a sailor pro gear 2 uh, then here it is with a 
Montblanc 149. And then here it is with a Visconti Opera Elements uh, Earth, which is a newer acquisition for me and definitely will be coming up in a review here in the near future. So here we go with the writing sample for the Diplomat Arrow. And this is a uh, medium steel nib. And the ink I'm using today is an ink from, uh, from Austria. I thought that would be appropriate with a German pen. It's something near uh, Germany. And the ink is Seitz Kreuznach. I'm sure I'm probably butchering that name, but this is how you spell it. Oh, excuse me, E U. And it's Arctic Blue. It's a really nice blue color. Uh, this is what it looks like. And that um, somewhat similar to something like Pelican Turquoise, maybe just slightly lighter. Um, and also something kind of like the uh, Franklin Christoph Spanish Blue. And I really love the bottles that this comes in. This is what they come in. Uh, kind of looks like a medicine bottle or cough syrup, something like that. Uh, I really fell in love with these bottles and I'm a sucker for cool bottles. So I have a number of these inks and they're, they're very good inks as well, but I really love this cool bottle. So here we go with the rest of the writing sample. This is a very nice steel nib. Um, it is very firm. You're not going to get, I, I mean, I'm pushing it a bit and I'm really not getting any line variation whatsoever. So you're not getting this for line variation, um, but it is fairly smooth uh, and, uh, and decently wet as well. You see that it, well, it's actually a little drier here, but it does lay down uh, a decently wet line. And in regard to reverse writing, not very good at all. Uh, and in regard to some fast writing, the feed keeps up just fine. But um, this is definitely one of those pens that, like I mentioned before, just really surprised me because uh, the, the quality of the nib, uh, the way it feels in the hand is really distinctive. Uh, it's just, um, a very nice pen. So I wanted to thank Points of Distinction for providing me with uh, actually this silver version to give away. Uh, and that their website is My Diplomat Pen. Dot com. And that if you use the code FigBoot. 816, then that will get you for the month of August 2016, it will get you 20% off. And like I said before, I believe that that's 20% off of virtually anything on their site. Um, I tried it with a couple of items and the discount came up. I'm not sure if it's 100% of things, but it's not just this pen. It's other items on their site as well. So here we have the Diplomat Arrow. We have the matte black version. And then we have the matte silver. Uh, it's a very nice pen. Uh, the quality and performance of this Diplomat makes me really want to check out some of their other pens as well, which is a, a high compliment. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.